On the 4th of July, a new movie is set to hit the screens, and it's one that seems to have a lot of folks talking. It's called Justice on Trial, and it's going to bring black history to life. I caught up with one of the executive producers who happens to be um, here from Jacksonville, Bishop Rudolph McKissick Jr., a very familiar name. He's a local pastor, and he stopped by, gave me all the buzz. After 400 years of slavery, Jim Crow, segregation, African Americans are suing the U.S. Department of Justice for reparations and damages. Let's uh, deliberate these facts. Now the Justice Department is against African Americans. Tell us about this new movie. What is it about? So the movie is entitled Justice on Trial. Uh, it's a movie that was written by a gentleman by the name of Chad Lawson Cooper. The movie is about uh, the African-American community putting the American government on trial for reparations and damages uh, from slavery uh, all the way through uh, the civil rights movement. It's an incredible movie. And what's really unique about it is that... Um, Cooper brings to the stand as witnesses some of the heroes and sheroes of our community, like Harriet Tubman, uh, Emmett Till, and Medgar Evers, who take the stand to tell a contemporary audience, um, a mixed, a multiracial jury, about what they went through uh, and how they were dealt with and how they were killed in the sense of Emmett Till and used those testimonies for jury deliberations into whether or not the government owes black people reparations. Wow. Now, we know everything that's going on in this world. We're seeing the protesting happening. And I said the world, not just the nation, because we're literally right. seeing it in countries, you know, across the pond and whatnot. We um, are seeing something that I've never seen before, my generation's never seen before, and perhaps even yours. Now, we think about your dad, he's seen some stuff, right? But you know, I think for people, this is the first time for many. Why is this movie so relevant today? I think it's relevant because, you know, George Santayana said, when, when you do not know your history, you're destined to repeat it. And I think it's important for generations of today to really understand how we got to where we are, the struggle that was gone through for progress so that this generation can continue to fight for further progress. You know, I, I think it is, it is disingenuous to say that we have not had progress, but I also think it is naive to say we have reached the point where we want to be. And so it is only in appreciating the struggle for the progress we've made, that I think the current generation can continue uh, to struggle or the fight to make further progress. Because after all, much of what you'll see in this movie that is history, you will not learn in school because it's not in the history book or it's redacted to be sanitized. Look, I, I've, I've got to give it to you because we know you as a, as a singer. We know you as a pastor, a bishop, all of that. And now you get to add executive producer to your name. <laughs> and, and, and now what does that even mean to you? Money. No. <laughs> well, you know, in a real sense, it, it opens doors because we've got some other projects that we're, we're already discussing doing. Um, it's allowing me to connect to people in the entertainment industry uh, through um, various, you know, interviews that I've done on a national level. Um, so it's really opening different doors to bring the kingdom into entertainment. And that's what I'm really excited about. And I've got to say, for those of, uh, of you who may not know, you know, Bishop didn't necessarily go to college to, to preach, right? You know, I'm talking undergrad, right? So this kind of brings something, this connects the two, right? Doesn't it? I was an opera major. So, you know, in a real sense, um, I've, I've been doing this and, you know, all through high school, I did high school musicals every summer for Duval County. So acting and entertainment is really in my blood. 
<laughs> well, it's, it's, it's good to see this happening. So tell us where we can get more information about the film and when does it premiere? Awesome. It premieres on July the 4th, very intentional with the date. Um, you can go to www.justiceontrialthemovie.com and it'll take you through all of the prompts for you to pre-order it. You don't have to wait till July the 4th. You can actually pre-order it today and then watch it on July the 4th. And, and I've got to ask you one last thing, Bishop, before I let you go. July the 4th, we know what that right. day is for America. What is the significance of releasing a movie such as this one on that day? Because that's not the day Black people were free. We, we know Juneteenth. Um, in a real sense, because none of us are free to all of us are free. Juneteenth is our freedom day. Um, and we want to put a challenge in the face of America that while you celebrate your independence, we were still stuck in chattel slavery. And so that's why we want people to watch it on July the 4th as a family, uh, as a group. That's important. So justiceontrialthemovie.com, download it and watch it.